What? Never in a million years. But I think you would like going to a block party with all of our neighbors. You just said, isn't this cool? I know, it is It is cool. cool. <laughs> Finally getting back into our routine. Oh, you're a big girl. Maple, that's, we need to sit on this. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not wrestling. Oh. She's home and I'm so happy. Three months. It's been three months. Three months. Three months. Maple got bigger, huh? Oh, yeah. So we've kind of disappeared for a few months um, with really good reason, but yeah. we just want to make a video, get back in our flow of things. Hey, we're talking about you. Huge. <laughs> a bit of stuff to catch up on today, but how does it feel to be home? <laughs> My thoughts are she's huge, but we wanted a big dog and we got one. <laughs> All right, let's just jump into this. I don't like sitting on the floor. My hip hurts. It's getting old. So what's your favorite thing about being in Florida? Ah, uh, I really like antique shopping and there's a lot here <laughs> because everyone retires here. And so everyone yeah, has, old has, stuff. has old stuff. And I have found some really cool pieces and I think I've kind of found my style of decor. You like, like Hawaii antique was shopping. Fun. I like antique shopping, but I like, yeah. Like, look at that. Look at what I do over there. How cute is that? No one asked oh. how Oliver's doing, but that is some he's stinky breath. He's doing terrific. He's our old mm. goat. He wears diapers and goes through 12 a day. We love my him. My Benjamin Button. He's 13 and a half. You're doing good, right? I'm doing great. A lot of good. changes in the house for an old man, but you're yeah. handling it good. Hey, hey Daisy. Do you want to come, come here? here? Come, come here. here. Introduce you. Come here, Daisy. I can bring your bow. So, today's video, well, I don't know. How do you want to tackle that? Well, we have a third dog. She is a year and a half. Her birthday is on July 4th. And this is Daisy. This is Daisy. And if you personally follow me either on Instagram or YouTube, you probably have seen her over the last year and a half. But this is my dad's dog, Daisy. And she is our newest family member. That is why I was gone for three months. Um, I was with my dad and he had a five year battle with prostate cancer and cancer sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it metastasized and it was treatment resistant and God, did he try everything under the sun. Yeah, he did. He did. He really did. Um, so my dad is no longer with us. I have a tattoo. You I'm have gonna, a tattoo? Um, we'll get to that question. Oh, okay, we'll get to that, I guess. But um, <laughs> come here, Daisy. We want to choose you. Come here. Please. She's really smart too. Please. Please. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, Ugh. fun fact: Miss Daisy is training to be a service dog. We are training her for my dad for PTSD. She will be a fully certified service animal. She is a mini Australian Shepherd. She's full grown. She's full grown. So she's what, 16 pounds? Uh, yeah, 16, 17. 17. She's like three pounds bigger than Oliver. Yeah. But she wrestles with Maple all day. Something that was honestly, um, I think really cool for everyone was when we got Maple, we were staying at her dad's for a little while. So when Maple was a puppy, her first friend was Daisy. Yeah, and, and they, she was the same size as Daisy. They played nonstop for a full month. And, and now they play nonstop. All the time. All the time. And I swear when they saw each other, it was like, it's my friend. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's very sweet. And she's very special to our family. Yeah. Um, yeah. I see, I think you're gonna get to see him play. Maple. Go play with Daisy. Let's go. Good girl. You ready? Go on. Go get it. How much? Yeah. So this is how she's doing. This is um, their friend. She's honestly doing really well. In all honesty, I'm. I'm. No, I'm gonna get emotional. But I'm so happy we got her. I'm so happy we got her. We'll give her a great life. Hi, Miss Daisy. Right? Isn't that right? Huh? All right. Um, I'll have to put a few photos on the screen of Daisy and Maple cuddling. Oh, they, like, yeah. like intertwine and paws around each other or they're right next to each other. It's really sweet. So yeah, they're best friends. It's the slobbery drips for me. Are you ready? Here she comes. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a uh, perfect timing. The next question is, what is something you did not expect from having a bigger dog? The slobbery drips no um i grew up with big dogs but in your own house when you're not a kid and you have to clean up after it it is a little different but no she's very sweet and i could not imagine life without her <laughs> let's clean those paws that's every day 
I mean, every five minutes. It's just one day. paw. Yeah. And you guys know me and my house, and my floors, my what couch. All right, here's a cool one. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. What's your favorite thing about your new house in Florida so far? You want to show us? Mm. Well, there's a lot, but honestly, I kind of already touched on this, but like finding my actual decor style. This, this okay. is a vintage um, copper umbrella stand. Oh, wow, we needed that. I think. We're <laughs> also with coals. There's something with the person. Coals? Yeah, they used to put coals in here. And, okay, so that goes back up She's here. turned into an old lady Florida garage sale shopper. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> His mom sends me, honey, there's an estate sale this week. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. Let's show him this thing that I stole from you. It's not going to happen. This will, this does not go with your mi Mad Men vibe over here. With my vintage pieces in my office, not your Mad Men 75. Get out of here. <laughs> this is mine. If you could renovate one thing about the house, what would it be? Oh, I got a list. Um, the first thing. Yeah, the first thing. <laughs> what I'm kind of thinking is... Maybe doing like some type of flat roof and extending out a little bit, almost like our Hawaiian home was, or doing like a pergola style. We'll see what looks better. Right. Um, but almost extending it out. Oh, to like here. here. That'd yeah. be really nice. And then you can, do, you can do two chairs, a little table. We'll create like either a brick, maybe continue the brick out, or other some other type of stone that might go with the backyard. Man, do we have a plan out here. Yeah, we. It's, it's going to be like an actual backyard renovation. It's gonna be something that almost needs to be done all at once with oh, yeah. a plan in mind. So we have devised a plan to turn our backyard into a resort. Yeah, um, a little like suite. We're yeah. planning a guest house, a garden, like an outdoor thing over here. Is over here, we wanna do a massive pool, like walking area behind the tree. And over here, we wanna do like Hitch's Rose Garden mm -hmm. here in the middle, put a guest house back in the corner and then open up the side of the house with glass doors and kind of make everything flow. All right, uh, we might have answered all the questions. No. Guys, I've been trying to vlog while she was gone. My life is really boring without her. You, so what you're saying is you need me? Yeah, I do. No, it's, I'm happy to be home and I'm excited to get back into our life and yeah, it'll be good. I forgot one more question that I think you'd want to share. Oh, okay. Your tattoo. Oh. Our tattoos. So Sawyer had joined me in Utah right after my dad's passing. And um, I asked you, because he has a tattoo artist, I said, can you set up an appointment? And he said, yes. And so all four of us, Sawyer, me, Scoot, and Murr, all went to the same tattoo artist and all got tattoos kind of in memory of my dad. And the lessons he's and taught. And the lessons, and they all have a meaning for each of us. So mine specifically, Yours is the coolest thing in the world. Mine is pretty cool. So this is from a card that my dad had wrote years ago. And he wrote this whole note in there, but there was something about this particular sentence, obviously. So I got it tattooed in his handwriting on my arm. Now he will always be by my side. And we were both left-handed, so it's on my left arm. And now, whenever I look down, I see my dad and then that's really cool, I know he's always there. <laughs> so that's honestly it. It's been three months since I've seen my fiance and I could not be more, not even excited's not the right word. I'm, I have my life back. We're gonna get to vlogging. We're gonna get to all that stuff. But in all honesty, if you wanna see more of our daily personal life, our home, our relationship evolve, Go right now, just click the link top of the bio, go subscribe to Andrique's channel. She makes content like multiple times a week and she actually uploads on a schedule. Whereas I try, I try, I try, you know, I try. <laughs> I've been doing this 14 years, I try, I try.